going to do is to reverse the video in order to disappear the way it appeared and here's our trick Since you're watching this video right now, it means that you want to continue this journey for me and I really appreciate it. Please, if you are still here, consider subscribing and leave your feedback in the comments down below. Don't forget to comment your email down below in order to receive the files, in order to work on it and apply everything you need. So before I get started, please notice that I have these plugins, presets and effects are already installed in my Premiere Pro. So please, if you don't know how, check the links down below in the description i will leave them for you go ahead and check them out and try to apply them on your premiere pro you just gotta know the basics in order to do that or to install them into your pc so it's just kind of simple let's get started as you can see right here we have these files that we have prepared in the previous tutorial as you can see the plan the shadow and also the text the background and everything now all i'm going to do is to run my premiere pro and start a new project whenever it starts all you have to do is to name your project just like i will be doing uh, Okay, let's go there new project and let's name it with for example um, plan for now okay and hit the enter key on your keyboard now here we are here we have a new fresh as you can see right here we have the motion bro uh, plug in that I'm linking down below how to install it and how to use it now all I'm going to do is to select my files right here and drag them into this area right here so my project plan in premiere pro now as you can see that here there is the timeline and timeline and here is my preview so i'm going to drag the background always start with the background i'm going to make it all the way to 30 seconds just like that we don't want to make it uh, so long uh, probably will make it shorter than that anyway to start with I'm going to drag my plan the first thing that will appear is the plan that I have been uh, coloring in Photoshop okay let's play it as you can see it appears just like it pops up so what I'm going to do is to make it appear like splitting from the center to the sides now let's go to the transitions or to the effects select the plan and press shift Five in order to go to the effects control here we can use or uh, control the scale the position of this object so I'm going to scale it just a little bit because I it, it seems like it's going to explode in my face so I'm just going to scale just like that okay now press shift 7 in order to go to transitions and effects now we're going to work with the split uh, basically okay so as you can see right here there is a split and split and center split we're going to use the split okay drag it to the beginning of your video of all oh, sorry of your plan now play it as you can see that it's splitting from the center to the outer borders now what i'm going to do is to make it slower than that just a little bit now i'm going to select the split and whenever you move or hover above it you will see that on the border or on the edge of it you'll notice uh, a small icon all you have to do is to click and drag just a little bit in order to make it slower you see this is perfect now what we're going to do next is we to insect often sorry to intersect it with the shadows so we're going to make the opposite with the shadows layer okay this one is perfect now let's go and bring the shadows just like that let's go to project plan you can press uh, shift one for example let's go to the shadows and drag it to the timeline okay this is great now whenever the uh, the plan appears like I want the shadow to be appearing in the same time okay so I'm going to uh, like to sing them together just like that um, okay so since we have applied this to our plan we're going to apply the same thing to our shadows now select it shift 7 now go to split now uh, let's apply it to the beginning of this and we're going to make it also longer just like that now let's check it out 
actually it's starting from the same point so what we're going to do is to edit the split how can we do that all you have to do is to select the split and shift 5 and this settings will appear in your screen now what I'm going to do actually is you see these arrows right here the default one is from the sides okay so I'm going to do the opposite I'm going to take I'm going to click on the upside down so it's going to be totally the opposite way as you notice right here okay so what I'm going to get here is this effect just like that okay which is kinda cool okay we don't want to make the same uh, exactly the same one in the previous video so we're going to do something different right here okay this is perfect now the next step is to add the text actually we're going to do it the same way let's go to shift one to our main project menu and let's add the text actually it's too long right here we don't want it to appear just like that um, okay now as you can see that it's splitting but the text has just like uh, explode <laughs> there is an explosion of the text right here okay let's go and shift 7 let's go to add the split also from this you can add the center split for example okay I'm just using the default effects in the Premiere Pro in order to apply it in yours as well so as you can see it's going to show in a really cool way this is awesome let's make it slower just a little bit now everything is totally set do you remember that I have installed the motion bro plugin so what I'm going to do is to go there to motion bro and you have a lot of things like a ton of effects so what I'm going to, to add is like some maybe motion shake for example as you can see like it's just an effect it's going to help um, to show that it's uh, something floating or like you know I'm just going to hit apply on it and we will wait for it okay as you can see it's it's shaking just like that okay so what I'm going to do is to rescale those three or to rescale the plan um, let me try um, to go shift one or shift five sorry and to scale it a little bit more and also I will be scaling the plan just like that let's scale the text as well actually in order to fit with our shaking effect okay this is great so you guys know that it's optional to go all the way with every single thing okay that's great now I'm going to drag it and make it as long as possible this is our, don't forget to save your project guys Control s and let's go for it all right let's go we are adding this shaky effect okay that's it now let's add the other elements um actually we can go to hud elements and you can see that there are tons of these cool effects like hackers or something like files or uh, yeah you can go and check them out now I will be adding something on the corner something right here something circular to go with um, rectangular thing um, let's add for example uh, actually this one this looks cool let's apply it as you can see right here it will appear in the middle of my screen so what I'm going to do is to select it actually let me drag this one right here yeah I will select that and let me make it shorter than that okay this is great now let's go all the way just like that now it also has the other effects as well you can like adjust it the way you want for example I will be using this one right here let's scale it just like that and also you can control the settings like double click on it and you will notice that they will there are some settings right here you can choose the color actually I will be using another color than the red one let's choose the cyan one okay and from the settings we don't want that to be above our object so we're going to decrease the opacity until like 
um, 12 to 10 percent so it's going just going to show in the background as you can see right there just like that okay this is awesome now let's go and add another one actually to go to motion blur, uh, bro um, maybe let's add this circular one there is another one actually which is really cool and I like it a lot it keeps on like uh, rotating which is really this one yeah let's go to this one and apply it as you can see you can always like adjust it the way you want and we're going to make them like um, appear with each other it's like almost in sync okay so just right there and as you notice that everything will appear just the same time double click also go to settings you can decrease the opacity also I will go to shift 5 in order to scale it and place it in the right place just like that see the circle right here it's amazing now let's play it mm, actually we're going to start it also so close to that one this is great a little bit more the cheeky effect actually is affecting too much okay we're going to drag those actually um, a little bit like closer like I want everything to appear in sync as you can see that everything is appearing at the same time now let's uh, decrease this one okay let's go again motion all you have to do is to add some elements so I'm going to speed up the video guys in order you don't get boring and skip my video so let's go Okay, now we're done. We're going to render that video. Let's check it out in the preview actually. And as you can see that everything is looking just great. Awesome. This is great. Now what we're going to do is to render that video. And this is just so great. Now as you can see right here, I have organized my layers in order not to disappear like everything in just one time. So they are going to disappear like one by one. Let's check that out. And yes, that one has been like, we can keep the, um, that frame until it goes. Okay and just like that and yes that's it now all we have to do is to go to export and to choose the resolution and the video setting that we want to render in Premiere Pro now for me I will be choosing uh, only high quality okay so full HD and let's play this in the preview let's check that out everything is just okay we forgot to re, uh, re uh, show this effect okay this is good let's check that out again okay this is awesome let's go to the export now we're gonna call it p1 we are not finished yet guys i'm going to speed up the video so stick to it Okay, now it's finished. We're going to save this file and actually we're going to close it. Now what I'm going to do next is to rerun the Premiere Pro. I'm not going to open the same project. I'm just going to open the same project, uh, sorry, the same video 
and a new project so a new project we're going to hit p2 like part 2 so create so watch this trick guys everything is about this step i'm going to upload that video uh sorry it's called okay let's check that out yeah that's the one so let's go and upload it to our premiere pro and drag it to the timeline now what i'm going to do actually is to speed up this video as you can see that it's showing here in the preview okay when everything just almost going to finish i'm going to do something i'm going to cut this video right here using this c shortcut and cut it right here and de delete the rest of it now i'm going to copy this video using the alt key alt and drag it just like that now select this one and hit ctrl r in order to go to clip speed and duration now what i'm going to do is to reverse the video in order to disappear the way it appeared and here's our trick now let's go to reverse the speed and hit ok actually i'm going to speed up this video um, i'm going to make it like um 120 percent this one as well 120 percent just like that okay now let's check our video it's almost like 10 seconds now let's play that and let's go that's it this is everything i'm going to speed it up a little bit more like maybe 200 the double in order not to make it so long i felt like it's taken a lifetime so i'm going to speed it up and boom that's it now all you have to do is to export it and post it on your facebook instagram and when wherever you want hopefully guys you find this useful enjoyable and please comment down below if you want me to make more 2d animation more ideas in order to go as simple as possible and you guys gonna learn if you want to share your works with me just send them to me through my email i will leave it down in the description so if you like my video throw a thumbs up make sure you leave your feedback i would really appreciate that see ya